Good morning. Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to do something really special with this car. Because it's ready. Let me show you. It's actually time to go because I'm going for autocross and it's 6 30 in the morning. So let's hear this thing start. The call starts. This is a bit not nerve wracking because. I have finished the car and I'm still worrying because I've done the job myself so it's gonna be just like a test to my job and to my car if everything works well then I did a good job I just hope I don't have to be towed on the way back as I've done that before not fun so just wish me luck and I'll see you at the track so I got here safely, everything is fine, I passed already the inspection, already took a walk around the track twice. It's pretty fast and uh, it has a lot of curves. I hope I will do fine and none of my wheels will fall off, fall off or suspension will fall apart, whatever. And we'll see how that looks. I'm going to run second, so uh, I have uh, some time to look around what's up, how the people do and what the times and I will show you and there are some cars over here already getting lined up and I'm late for the meeting okay see ya and Ford's forever going back a real long time has a lot of experience but uh, he's gonna come in with a 56872 so I didn't have a lot of time to film uh, videos I was busy observing how the people are driving and I only have videos when I actually draw so here's my first one so this was my very first run as you can hear there's a lot of engine revving and not a lot of speed that's because the clutch is slipping and on the first few runs I have to drive with an instructor as a novice and you probably would have to do the same as well this run I was able to finish in 64.5 seconds. You didn't seem to have any difficulty finding the course. I walked it three times. Okay, yeah, all right, good. I, I mean... And yes, walking the course helps a lot. Okay. And I'm sure you would like to see how have I improved over the time. So here is my fastest time. Oh, you just knocked some cones.
So this run was my fastest and I was able to finish in 54.08 seconds which is really close to what my instructor did in my car and let me show you that. So that was it. I finished the runs. I already home, as you can see, uh, here in Brooklyn. The car did fine. I didn't have any major problems. Actually, I did have problems. Let's say that way. And I'm back home at one in one piece, and not on the back of the tow truck. That's an important part. I did find few uh, issues that needs to needs to be uh, taken care of for the next time if there will be a next time. Uh, one thing is not that major, but uh, it kind of bothers me. The car was not cooling properly when uh, when I was racing. I tried to keep the AC off and uh, had the whole power go to the tires, not to anything else. But the fans would not turn on to Cool the radiators. So I had to run with AC because that automatically puts the fans on all the time, and uh, that way the car was cooling itself properly. The other thing that I noted is that it needs a clutch, and that is expensive because once you do a clutch, you should do the AMS bearing and the main seal just in case, so you don't have to take out the transmission twice. I would be able to do it, probably, but in the garage space that I have, I don't think it's possible. So, uh, we'll see. If I'm gonna keep the car, maybe. But, keeping... Well, this car is amazing, as I said. Uh, it handles perfectly on the track. And they've learned a lot how to drive a mid-engine car which I previously didn't even have an idea. When you're going on the track and you're about to spin out, or you're sliding, let's say you're sliding, not spin out, but when you spin out, it's too late. When you're sliding, do not take the foot off the gas. Give it more gas and it will go straight. I didn't know that. And I spun out a few times. Well, Three times. In my defense, the track was not that easy. It had at least three uh, slaloms, three or f four or five even uh, difficult turns that people have missed. But overall, it was awesome. If you would like to do an autocross in your car and you're thinking that, oh, maybe it's automatic or whatever, don't care. People don't care. I've seen today cars uh, with automatic, cars like Volkswagen GDI, it had a DSG transmission, but it's an automatic. I've seen uh, Tesla Model 3, it's also automatic, and people were autocrossing it. I don't know what the hell, well, there are probably other cars, but I noticed those two without those. That was the Mercedes as well, that had an automatic. Uh, I'm not sure if it had pedal shifters. Pedal shifters, yeah, sorry. 
or not, but people doing it. And you should too. It's a lot of fun. You will not regret it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you would like to see this car, stay on the channel, subscribe, and let your, uh, tell your friends to subscribe, subscribe as well, so that YouTube can pay me for replacing clutch and keeping this car. And I'm gonna try to find uh, sponsors to do the job, maybe or whatever support this build and so on. If you like the video, put a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have fun and stay safe.